What is up, YouTube? This is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to play Super Nintendo games on your PC for free. So, let's get right into the video. We're going to be... I'm going to basically be teaching you how you can do this. And the first step is going to SNES, SNES9X.com. <laughs> the link will be in the description if, just so you can easily click into this. Uh, once you're in this site, just download the emulator. Uh, it'll be in the download section, I believe, whatever your version is. you can. It's in like a bunch of places you can download it. I got mine from Emulator Zone if you want to feel comfortable getting it from there. Um, so yeah, once you have that downloaded, the next thing I will tell you is look at this link as well. Download ROMs.io. If you have a preferable website, more than happy you can go from there. And download whatever game you want to play for Super Nintendo. Um, I downloaded Zelda just to show you guys that I wanted to play Zelda. I still even have like the zip file there. Um... So let's get right into that. Once you have it downloaded, um, it, it'll be in the uh, zip file, so you're gonna have to extract it. Make sure you have some form of extractor on your desktop. Um, once you extract it in the folder itself, it's going to look like this, SNES 9X-X64, because I got the 64-bit version. Um, there is no installation process. You don't have to go crazy or do anything of the sort. Just open the emulator. Um, once you have it open, nothing is gonna happen. You're gonna go to the top left, you're gonna click File, and you're gonna do Load Game. Once you do that, it is gonna take you to the ROMs folder. They have a ROMs folder. You can go outside of it. I put the game in a different place and you click into the game that you downloaded, the ROM. And you're gonna see that the game actually ends up loading. So I'm just gonna show you guys. I'll probably lower the game volume so you guys don't go crazy hearing like loud ass Zelda music. Um, but let's see, uh, I think the title screen is gonna load obviously first. Um, we're gonna let it load just to show you obviously like i said it's gonna look different on your screen uh, depending on wherever the hell you're playing it um uh, just think of i don't know I forgot how to even like whatever got the names gonna end it off oh crap i shouldn't have done that no I, how do i go back whatever and we're gonna play with feet and whatever i'm not gonna end up playing but as you can see the game ends up starting you can change your um you can change your settings. There's cheats, obviously. Uh, you can change the emulation. You can change the frame rate. You can put in like a lot of different like mods and whatnot as well. That gets a little trickier. I can make another video if you guys like. You can let me know in the comment section below. But you can change the controller settings as well. Uh, let's see if I can find it. And you can actually put a legitimate controller. See, as it says a joypad. You can actually put a PS4 controller. You might have to like change it up a little bit. So yeah, this is where you can input the configuration. It just gives you a little bit of like an insight of oh, what to use, what to press, how to go for it. And yeah, essentially go from there. You can see the people are talking. You can speed it up as well. And yeah, that's essentially it. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is you guys want to play your old childhood hate games? Hey man, here you go. You got a you got a way to do it now. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Overall, I do go hope you guys found this helpful and informative. If you did, please smash that like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. It helps a lot. And yeah, if you if you get stuck on anything, please let me know in the comment section below. It's a very simple and easy tutorial and guide to follow. I personally do like using SNES. It's actually pretty good. It doesn't crash or anything of the sort. You got an easy save function. You can do cheats. You can do mods. You can do other controllers. Um, so yeah, I do hope you guys found this helpful and informative. If you did, like I said, smash the like button. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. But on that, FNH out. Peace out.